So we are in Blender 3.4 Alpha and one of the amazing features of a 3.4 Alpha is the EV Next and of that it is the displacement, the EV Next displacement. I mean, it's just, it's, it's crazy, all right? So let me just quickly show you how to enable that. So go to Edit, Preferences, Experimental and EV Next, right? Then yeah, got it. And you directly won't see EV Next so you have to close Blender and then again reopen it so that, that that's how you'll see EV Next. So, Enough talking. What's what's this whole displacement thing about, right? It's, it it is next level. So I'm gonna delete my cube, and I'm and I'm actually gonna add a UV sphere, share it smooth, and I'm going to give it a big big subdivision, so like six, all right. And that is all cool. So what I'm going to do is actually switch to shading, and I'm just gonna close this off, close this off. So just wanted that. Actually, could have done this a whole new different way but whatever so now i have this material and i have done nothing to the scene so this is just ev being ev obviously you can't render it out so there's only material preview but whatever so i'm going to select my material and hit control shift t so this will uh, i'm just going to select a material that has a tad bit of heavy displacement so this is a texture that i created uh yeah <laughs> i can't wear textures but that's not the issue so as soon as i plug this in you'll notice that it takes a while to load and of course it does that but then it does this and this is just bad but this is displacement in ev so right now the scale is a bit too much so i'm just going to set this to something like 0.2 and look at that so this is sort of a brick sort, sort of tile texture and again so my textures didn't bring in the base color and the amiotic illusion but uh forget about that so what i'm going to do is set this set the scale to three and i'll set the y-axis scale to something like two and this is something that helped me and take a look at this displacement in ev this this is crazy so this is looking like really ugly right now so i'm going to bring in my base color and my ambient occlusion right over here set my ambient occlusion to non-color and alt right click drag alt right click drag there we go and just simply mix these two set it to multiply uh, factor to one and put them in the base color and now look at that that is just just amazing so i'm going to set this one a tad bit down so maybe point one and just just look at that this is crazy and this is real time i mean cycles has a few things over even that is you know ray tracing and of course displacement but now that has been taken care of obviously this is not production ready it is just not there yet and let me quickly show you the poly console there we go we are i think dealing with four mil triangles or two four lakh or something whatever the count is this is a lot obviously but it's real time and i actually have the cycle scene of it uh, ready to open so let me just open that and i'll put that over there and i'll put this over here so we have the cycle scene right over here so let me turn on the rendering for that and of course i need the lights and yep so let me just bring this somewhere over here and let's just take a look at the material so obviously i have blender experimental open and this is something that you need to do to get like good uh you know good subdivisions and accurate so that you know the parts that are not visible they won't get subdivided so this basically just fast uh, increase or decreases the render time basically that's we need adaptive subdivision but look at this right over here look at this in ev and if i change this to something like you know or if i just turn off adaptive subdivisions and if i set this to six you can just see the amount of time it takes and it is of yeah take a look at that so the amount of time it takes and then it gives us this which we're getting for a lot less yeah so the, the same amount of subdivisions and it is just crazy and i think the poly count is of course it's going to be the same let me just quickly show that as well so yes yeah, six it is it is it is the same i mean same same sphere same division so yeah but <laughs> holy shit this is amazing oh I, I really don't know what to say. I mean, this is not exactly a tutorial per se because I'm not really exactly teaching you anything. But I just wanted to bring your attention to this EV next thing. This this is the future. I mean, if EV somehow manages ray tracing, I mean, there is, I think, an add-on that does that. But, I mean, if that ends up being happening, Jesus Christ. You know, it's just, I mean, so many things to explore there in EV next. But, I mean, it's obviously not production ready, so I can render this scene out. And I really can't do this right now. I mean, I could, if I wanted to, I could, uh, where is it? Go to view and viewport render image and do this. But 
yeah so i guess you can render things out but again you don't have a lot of choices in lighting over here in cycles but yeah this is so so efficient this is this is the thing so what i'm going to do is just let you guys mess with it be a mist and yeah just display as many yep this is this is this is the future so delete that no don't save full screen this Mm, yep this is this is the future boys so yeah welcome to the future